So what's going on guys welcome back in another video and in today's video i'll show you how you can be eligible for scroll airdrop and if you've seen my videos that i made months ago you probably have some nice decent activity on scroll mainnet now but if you haven't started yet there's nothing to worry about because i think the mainnet is going to be live for a couple months more until they're gonna take a snapshot so now what is scroll and simply it's evm compatible layer 2 on ethereum so now the step number one what you want to do is to bridge using the official bridge and i always advise you guys to use the official bridge no matter what but in this case you can see the gas is just crazy right now 50 dollars so there's no point bridging at these prices if you're curious when do you want to bridge it you can go to a website like block native and you can see we have the max go at 60 so i would wait to maybe 30 maybe 25 if that will be possible but when we're gonna have a situation when the way will be lower i definitely advise you to use the official bridge because it might be one of these criteria when it comes to the token eligibility if you can't bridge it using the official bridge right now so for example i'm not gonna spend 50 dollars to bridge let's say 100 dollars of um, ethereum to other network so in this case i'm gonna bridge using rhinofi so rhinofi is their third party bridge and it's also really good it's also tokenless so maybe if you're gonna be using it quite often you also will be qualified for another airdrop so in this case we're gonna use uh, our funds from linea and i'm gonna bridge some funds from linea network to scroll so in this case let's bridge 0 0.025 and select the scroll on the bottom line on top or you can do any other one so for example let's say you have some funds on ziki sync or optimism or arbitrum or whatever different networks you have your funds on so just select that and swap it so you're gonna pay significantly less on the top of that if you're bridging from Lania or ziki sync you're also qualifying for ziki sync airdrop and Lania because they don't have a token yet and you're making volume across different chains so now another protocol you can use is all two which is another third party bridge they also they also don't have a token so it might be a good idea that you come back let's say next week and you can bridge using all two so you don't have to use all the time the same bridge you can also interact with other contracts so now if you're new to scroll and if you never used that before you'll need to add your chain to your metamask so in this case we're gonna go to chain list and in here we're gonna search for scroll so once you do that you'll see your chain id so you want to click on this button it's going to add it to your metamask the other way you can do you can essentially go to let's say sync swap and when you're going to select scroll in here you just click on this button and then you're going to switch it should automatically ask you to add the network to your metamask and you can see in this case i don't have this network on this wallet so i'm just going to approve it and now it's going to ask me to swap to scroll mainnet so now as you can see i have 0.025 in this wallet so let's say we're going to swap it 75 percent to usdc and it's really important to make some decent volume that you don't bridge basically ten dollars you just want to bridge maybe at least fifty dollars to make a decent activity because there will be a ton of different criteria like your balance at the end when the snapshot will be taken like your activity over time the months you're gonna be using it the volume so a ton of different criteria that will matter so the more money you're gonna move the more volume you make that's also beneficial for your wallet and ultimately you're gonna get better allocation so now let's say we're gonna swap this to usdt so use the maximum amount that we have then you will need to unlock it and once you've done it you just want to confirm the transaction so now the next thing you can do you can go to the pools and you can provide liquidity i'm not gonna do it now because first i want to create a decent volume and once i'm gonna done with this route i'm gonna provide liquidity at the end so i'll show you what protocol i'm gonna be using to do that so you're gonna be qualifying for two airdrops in one so the another one we want to use is dodo so in here just swap it to scroll then connect your metamask and now you want to select the pair that we have so just remember to swap it to scroll and then you want to select usdt so just select the maximum amount or whatever amount you want and then approve it and swap it the another one we can use is skydrum so just connect your wallet to it and make sure you guys on the scroll mainnet and now you want to select the amount so uh, it's going to be 0.01 and we can use this native token skydrum click on the swap button you'll need to approve it and swap it then you want to swap it back because we don't want to hold this token we just want to have either usdc or ethereum so approve it and swap it backwards so the next one you can use is sushi and here we're going to do a basic swap as well the point of one to usdc so next one we want to go to izumi finance and we want to swap our usdc to ethereum approve it and swap it the another one that we have is kurama so just swap it and you can swap to any token that you want you don't have to use usdc you can use cake curve die whatever you really want next one we can use symbiosis which is a really cool cross-chain swap and bridge platform essentially you can select the scroll on the top or if you have any funds across different networks you can use them as well so just select scroll in here and then select ether click the maximum amount you want to swap now you need to approve it and then swap it so the next one we have is layer bank and if you want to supply some liquidity you can do that you can provide ethereum usdc or stake ethereum you can also use swap but it's going to use izumi or skydrome so this platform that i showed you previously 
also you can farm your purse so essentially this protocol routes your trades so if you want you can use this one as well but i'm going to be showing you the other one that you can focus on which is ambient and i'm bullish on ambient because they have a huge tbl they also don't have a token yet so if you look on DeFi Llama, you will see they have the vast majority of the market share over 12 millions in TVL. And when you connect to Ambient, the app is really smooth and really intuitive. So you can do swaps, you can trade, you can provide a liquidity pool. So you can do anything that you really want within this app. So you can essentially qualify for two airdrops using one protocol. So we basically farming Ambient and we're farming scrolls. So we're going to qualify for both of these. So now on Ambient, one of these things you can do is essentially swap. So let's say we're going to swap it to USDC. And based on the volume you're going to make on Ambient, probably you're going to qualify for their airdrop as well. So the more volume you'll make in here, probably the more eligible you'll be. I would definitely recommend you to go for 10,000 in volume because it's always as one of these criteria on different airdrops. So I definitely recommend you guys to spend more time on Ambient. I might do another video on this one in the future. So if you're not subscribing yet, definitely do so. So you can be updated with the fresh airdrop guides and fresh airdrop opportunities that I'm farming. And also we have the pool that is really important. So I'm going to show you this once we're going to finish the route. The another one we can use is the Zebra. So in here, just connect your wallet and we're going to do a simple swap from USDC to Ethereum. Another one you can use is KyberSwap, which is also a really popular platform. So let's say 0.005 and we're going to swap it to USDT. So now I'm going to swap it back. Another one you can use is Aave, which is the money market. So you can provide your liquidity. You can also stake your liquid. So let's say you have like, you know, $200 to spend it. And once you're going to finish your route, you can go ahead and let's say you, you can provide $50 to Aave and $50 to Ambient. Another one you can use is Orbiter Finance. And you also be going to be qualifying for Orbiter Airdrop once you're going to be bridging from one L2 or Ethereum mainnet or whatever different um, chain you're going to be using. You can transfer your funds from one network to another one. Another one you can use is Spacefy. So similarly, you can provide liquidity and also you can do swaps. Next one you can use is Element Market. So if you have NFTs or if you want to buy some, you can do that as well. If you want to interact with even more contracts, you can go ahead and you can find some interesting NFTs that you want to buy. This NFT is probably not going to make you rich, but um, it's just good to interact with many different contracts, make more transactions, create some decent volume. So that's all what matters. Another one you can use is Merkly. And here we're going to be using interoperability protocol. So essentially you can select scroll. If you have a fresh wallet and if you don't have any uh, cross chain bridges, you can, for example, mint something on scroll and you can bridge it over to either on the network. So for example, to take a thing, we cannot do that, but you can do it on optimism. So I definitely recommend you guys to use it if you didn't make any cross chain bridges before. Another one you can do is to create a contract on scroll. So I'm going to link this down below so you can use it if you want. So what you'll do, you can do a basic contract. You can click on deploy and you will need to pay a small fee for that. And once this is done, you can interact with your contract. And when you're going to interact with it, you're going to increase your counter to one. So now you can see the counter is increased. So we can go ahead and we can go to Dmail. So Dmail is the another protocol that you can use to send your emails across different Web2 providers like Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, etc. So you're going to be paying like very small fee for each transaction. It's probably going to be around 10 cents. So it'll allow you to essentially uh, create your email. So click on Compose. Just make sure you are on the scroll mainnet and then you can send that email. So now the last thing you can do, you can go to Ambient and let's say we're going to swap 0.002. We're going to get $5 of USDC. So together we're going to get like $10, which I definitely think is not enough. But if you're just starting out, it's better than nothing. Or if you can deposit some more funds later, you can do that as well. So once you have your funds in your wallet, you can go to the pool section. And in here, we can select the max amount in USDC. So we're going to have $10 in total. So now you can, uh, you can adjust these bars. And this bar essentially will allow you to earn more APR on your position. So I think it's similar to Ikubo. But on Ikubo, you can see how many points you actually accumulated. And it also counts your active position. So if your position is outside the box... So let's say the if price is going to skyrocket to like 4,000, you're going to be stop earning points. So this is how it's on Incubo. And it might be very similar on Ambient, but we don't know because there's no point system. So click on confirm and then you can submit your liquidity. And that's pretty much summarizes our guide. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I appreciate if you hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter because this is where I update you with some alpha. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.